It was October 12th when Joy took that tick out of my arm, and today is the 15th, so it's been three days. And you can see there's no, like, bullseye around it. Now it is red. I pinched it a little bit to try to get the rest of the tick out, and it kind of gave it a little blood blister. It was a little red around it yesterday, but it's it's going down pretty good. So I don't think I need to worry about Lyme's disease with it. But I have uh, some stuff. Joy bought it for me. I'm going to go show it to you. And uh, I haven't used it yet, but I've watched a video on how good it is. And I'm hoping that it works really well. Um, because Joy says I'm a tick magnet. Last night I, had, I was in the tree stand or in my uh, saddle. And uh, I had one crawling on my hand. Then I got down to the truck. I had one crawling up my pants. So, and they were the really small ones, and I think those are the ones you got to worry about. I don't know which one it is that you got to worry about, but I don't like any of them. So, I'll show you the stuff, and uh, I'm going to try it out and see how it works. So, after the tick incident, my lovely wife went out and got me some permethrin. Permethrin. I think I butchered the name when I did the video when she was pulling the tick out. Anyway, it says there's a lot of warnings on this stuff. It's not for skin. Don't get it in your eyes, your mouth, your anywhere. Um, there's first aid if you uh, get it on your skin. It says not to use on any of your base layers, I'm guessing, or on your underwear, it says. So um, I would say any base layer, um, I wouldn't put it on that. Um, but all your exterior stuff. And this can, this can do um, anything. It says if you want to put it on your hammock, your tent, your gear, your clothing. Anything that's uh, that's a cloth type of material, um, and it will last up to six weeks or six washings. It says. It says do not treat underwear, hats, caps, or inner clothing. And it says to spray it on and let it uh, dry for at least two hours before you use it. It also says. Um, it's for 42 day protection against ticks, chiggers, mites, mosquitoes, and uh, spray it outdoors. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, six to eight inches from the surface of the clothing while not being worn and spray with slow sweeping motion to lightly moisten the surface of the fabric. A complete outfit consists of shirts, trousers, and socks, and it says to pay attention to cuffs and, and areas like that. So pants, jackets, backpack, socks, they're all getting sprayed. I'm trying to decide, I don't think I'm gonna spray this because this is my base layer usually. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna spray that. I gotta decide. Um, so, we're gonna spray our clothes. They make it in, Joy bought both. They make it in uh, a spray bottle and an aerosol can. This says it treats four outfits and this says it treats two. I don't know. Don't know, it's 12 ounces and 18 ounces. So, we're gonna spray this stuff up and hopefully no more ticks. I just wanted to make mention, um, the first time I saw this was Aaron from The Hunting Public was showing how to use it and they did a pretty informative video. It was pretty awesome. He was wearing a painter's suit, sprayed half of it with it and half without and went walking through the woods, the ticks were crawling right up the other side, and he would move them to the other side, and they would walk for a little bit and get paralyzed and fall right off. So I'm gonna try to put a link below to that video so you guys can see that too. It's pretty interesting, and those guys, if you haven't seen them, they're pretty good. Now don't stop watching my videos, but you should watch theirs too, because they're pretty, pretty informative and they're really good hunters. All right, back to work. All right, let that stuff dry for a couple hours in this breeze. It's supposed to rain today, but right now it's blue skies. So um, we'll let that stuff dry all up. And I'm not hunting today, so we'll see how much fresh air we can give these things to let the, the scent go away. I don't know if I really, well, I do smell a little bit. So hopefully that dissipates and we're trying to, you know, hunt the wind anyways, so if they smell me, it's because I didn't do the right thing. But 
I'd rather keep ticks off me. So we'll uh, we'll try this stuff out, and hopefully uh, it works well. And the spring definitely gonna try it because I had ticks on me like crazy during turkey season. Um, anyway, that's it. Check out that video. I'm gonna link it below. And uh, if you're experiencing a lot of ticks, let us know in the comments or or what you do to keep from it. Usually I just have a base layer and then a top layer and I tuck everything in to make sure there's no gaps. Um, but the other day when I got that tick, I was wearing just a light pair of pants, um, these brown ones that were back here that I sprayed and, uh, and my long sleeve shirt and a t-shirt. And I don't know, I had the t-shirt tucked in, but the, when it, if they would have climbed up through, that's the first open spot they would have found. So. Um, I was not playing by my normal rules because it was hot out and I just wasn't thinking about it. Um, so I learned my lesson. Anyway, that's it. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you would. We're up to 130. I think I've said that the last few videos. Um, we're trying to, to get up to 250. Um, and I think if we get to 250, we're going to do a giveaway. So uh, watch out for that. And I think that's it. Hey. We love you. God loves you. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Watch out for ticks. And sorry about the wind. It's breezy. <laughs>